So I'm gonna go over a few things that I feel like would be the basics in a lot of areas where people struggle with color packing. So let's get, get right into the video. Now the biggest issue people have with color packing is their saturation. That's literally what color packing is. You're just saturating the skin. Now I won't go too into depth about saturation and what that is. I have a video on that that explains that and I'll put a card up to that video somewhere up here on the screen. Now we're gonna be running on six volts here, okay? and let's get our needle out to the appropriate range. Now usually with black and gray shading, I like to float the needle a bit. Now by float the needle, I mean how far the needle is sticking out of the cartridge. With color packing, you're gonna wanna put your needle a little further in. Uh, you don't wanna do any needle floating here because we're going to be trying to saturate as much as possible and this will help you control your ink flow while you're packing that ink into the skin. And we're just gonna give the skin a little pass. So as far as hand motion, you can use small circles or pendulum shading, either one works. And on average, I'll be in one small area about six to eight seconds when I'm saturating color. So now a couple of things that will also make color packing easier is that you don't necessarily need a high voltage. You're probably gonna want a machine with a longer stroke because that'll give you an easier time punching in the color. And you're also gonna wanna prioritize using smaller mags, seven mags or nine mags are ideal for saturating the skin because they require less pressure to properly puncture the skin in the proper depth. So be mindful of your motion, otherwise you'll end up like this. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. If you're packing like that, please stop. Remember, it's best to go in a consistent back and forth or circular motion when you're packing your color. That's probably the most important thing to remember, otherwise you're gonna find your tattoo falling apart. Issue number two is gonna be gradation. Uh, I see a lot of the trouble that I had when I first started was transitioning from one color to another, whether it be a different color or a lighter version of the same color. So this is the method I use to transition over to a different color. Now see from, this, from that start point, I went over it way more. So I had gave myself a little fading transition, right? Now we're gonna clear out our cartridge and get back into the mid blue. And I'm gonna dip it in a little white just to get it a little lighter. So that way that transition from that blue we just put in to this blue that we're working right now is a little bit more significant. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did before with a deeper, deeper level of saturation from the bottom point than the top and lighter saturation as I make work my way up. So that way I'm giving myself an easy taper to work into, you see? So I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's that transition we have there, right? Then we're gonna go ahead and dip this in the white ink some more. Sometimes what you can do is empty out our cartridge a little bit so there's not as much blue. That way you can get a more dominant white in there and it'll lighten up your blue quite a bit. See, so we got a kind of a sky blue going there. So we're gonna go ahead and go over this. Pendulum shading I find works really good for transitioning. Or you can do the circleism and just slowly transition up. There we go. And you can do this with pretty much any color. You can um, mix in blacks or a, a deep gray. Now, be careful with your grays because when you mix grays, you're gonna end up desaturating your blue or whatever color you're using. You're gonna end up making it muted, a very muted color. So you gotta be careful with that. But with your whites and blacks, you can mix with those. So in another video, I can talk about color theory, which is a whole other subject, which will got, help assist you guys in transitioning your colors. But this is basically the basics. So you see that it's tapering out smoothly. You see that?
So that was just a few tips on how I do color packing. If you guys want any more tips regarding other things of tattooing, you can check out this playlist that I'll be dropping down here below, and I'll see you guys on the next video.